What makes him so incredibly effective? Well, I think part of it is that you are measuring his effectiveness against the standard job definition of what is a CEO. Not as though he doesn't have astonishing humans running all of these companies. You know, Gwyn Shotwell at SpaceX is probably the most under-accredited human in the history of business. I mean, she is building such a phenomenal organization that allows Elon to come in over the top and comment about two degrees to the left, two degrees to the right, but he's not managing it in the same sense that you would think of as a CEO. He is able to see the bigger picture and you know his his ability to set his own calendar for example one of the, the one of the craziest things about Elon is he doesn't have an assistant he doesn't let any and it's only for one reason he doesn't let anybody else control his priorities he decides what's mo- most important it, a it means he can work anywhere but you know when he tours his place and i i've seen him go through you know starbase or the the you know the the fremont factory he's looking for his direct lieutenants and he's looking them in the eye and they're communicating and there is the cult of Elon and it's a big deal when he shows up physically. And, you know, when he shows up and sleeps on the factory floor, that obviously makes everybody very, very tied into the fact that, okay, he's going to be here, get ready. And um, it's a leadership style. He, I mean, it's very palpable when he is, you know, physically in these spaces and what things are happening around him. But he doesn't have to actually go and swing a hammer or do anything, um, despite the fact I've seen him on the factory floor literally get in there and try to help show how the car needs to be made because it was engineered properly, Um, fitting windows into the back of the cars and stuff. Um, It's remarkable. You know the old story about, you know, give a man a fish, feed him for a day, teach him how to fish, feed him for a life. I mean, he, he really does rely on teaching and having people that are very, very tuned in to supporting and being a force multiplier for him. But he's not doing what you think he's doing. Is is that is that really his secret sauce teaching? I've read the book and uh, Demon Mode and all those things. He seems to be more than any CEO in the history of, of, of the world, really, to be able to extract more from every employee. What allows him to do it? How does he operationalize that ability? Well, first of all, ask yourself, If you took away all of the politics of being a CEO from every great CEO and just said, focus on execution, how much more effective could they be? So what he's really done is is he shouldered the risk reward problem that any other CEO has and just said to his leaders, don't you worry about how we're going to fund this. Don't you worry about the risk. Don't you worry about X, Y, or Z. He spends his time focusing on the high level stuff that really matters, but he frees them up to get to work. So they're doing their best work. And I think that given that everybody is also a shareholder in these companies, their interests are aligned. And given the outsized returns that you see at, you know, everything that he touches, I think everybody is inspired. They're motivated. Um, uh, You know, this is what built Silicon Valley. I mean, this idea of sharing equity. This is what had not happened in the world before the, you know, sort of the, not just the internet, but also the, you know, computer boom was about sharing ownership and sharing equity in a way that allowed management to win. Um, That is a huge component of this. And whether that ladders up to his politics as a libertarian or whether that ladders up to his sort of worldview about everything, he allows the free market to sort of reward in a very, very literal way in a way that does the inspiration for it. 